loves me. He loves me not. I think today's gonna be a good day. Today's a new day. We've got from 12 people down to nine, and hopefully all the quitters are out of here. I'm still trying to think of what that flat iron is doing for your hair, man. What do you mean? It looks the same when you're out of bed, man. <laughs> you know, I like that maybe people underestimate me a little bit. I'm definitely feeling something between me and Daisy. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm looking forward to spending more time with her and getting to know her better. I'd say at this point, Chi Chi's definitely a little ahead of me. It makes me jealous a little bit to feel that they would have a connection. Now I'm realizing that things are going to get a little tough between the two of us. You got to make that face when you do that. <laughs> You're a jerk. All right, guys, come out to the living room. Walking into the living room, there's a whole bunch of equipment. I've been dying to see music equipment since I've been here. I definitely would like to have a musical challenge. Hello, my sexy boys. Hello. I think that it's pretty obvious that I like rock stars. Well, today we are going to separate the guys that can rock from the ones that are just all talk. You guys are going to be playing live for us. I've never even touched a guitar or a drum set or, or sang or anything like that, so I mean, this is not my forte at all. I'm not feeling confident about it. You are going to be creating songs that are based on some of the songs that Daisy used to listen to when she was younger. As in nursery rhymes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I decided it would be fun if these guys took some of my favorite songs from when I was a kid and turned them into the badass rock and roll songs. This challenge is all about how hard you rock and also how hot you look doing it. So. If you guys actually make some music that I would actually listen to, then you will be winning a date with me. You are going to be broken up into teams of three. We've got two hours before you perform your songs live at the world famous Knitting Factory. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing at the Knitting Factory in LA, which is great. You know, I've played the Knitting Factory in New York before. Cool venue, so I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the team captains. Six gauge. London and Sinister, you guys are all the band leaders. So to make things fair, I took the three guys that are in bands back home and put them all on separate teams. I'm gonna hand you your guys' CDs. Now let's take turns picking band members. London says he's a musician, but there's a difference between getting paid for what you do and doing what you do in a garage with your buddies. Six Gage, we will start off with you. Pick wisely. Big rig. <laughs> London, you are next. I'll pick Cage. Nice. Because you heard me singing in the shower. So I heard you singing in the okay. shower. Yeah. Okay, Sinister. I write songs, I sing, and I play guitar. I know my best friend, Sinister, is going to pick me. I heard uh, 12 Pack can play drums a little bit, so I'm going to pick him. What the fuck? Well, okay. Sinister doesn't pick Chi Chi, and I'm surprised. I mean, I thought they were besties. Very interesting. Chi Chi ain't the greatest drummer. So I'm going to do anything that I can to win. Six kids. Flex. I'm taking Big Rig, and I'm taking Flex, and we're going to win that date. London. Um, sorry, Sinister, but uh, Chi Chi. Welcome to the winning team. So uh, Sinister doesn't pick me. My feelings were definitely hurt. I'm going to give 100%, and I'm going to show him why he should have picked me for his team. That leaves Fox with Sinister. I get stuck with Fox. Fox isn't exactly the sharpest pencil in the box, but I can work with him. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Sinister unfortunately picks me, knowing the fact that he had no more to choose from. In true rock star fashion, the limo is going to pick you up in two hours. Break a leg. All right. All right, guys. You want me to play it? All right. All right, check it out. We get the song, Old MacDonald. All right, stop it. We got to make this sound cool somehow. You know how to play that? 
And we had to do a version of row, row, row your boat. So my goal with my team was basically like, hey, let's, let's bring the passion. Let's do it raw. Something like that. I'm, I'm gonna play that one actually, to tell you the truth. I don't even know the words to this song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star will rock Daisy socks off tonight. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> what am I gonna do, dude? Pick your bass up. I'm gonna throw him a bass, teach him how to play real fast. Twelve pack plays drums a little bit, and uh, I start conducting Old McDonald <laughs> in a new punk rock form. Daisy, Daisy, you're my flower. Where's that fit in? I think at his point, he's just got to look good, and that'll be pretty much his part of this band. I think we got a good team right here, bro. Yeah. We got a good fucking team. Right now, we have here, the advantage. Let me hear that. <laughs> Fuck, dude, they're good, dude. They are. Sinister knows what he's doing on the stage, and um, that's why he didn't pick me. He knows he's gonna win this competition, and kind of sucks for me right now. Daisy, Daisy, my soul. Daisy. Practice sucks. We can't keep a beat. We don't know how to play the instruments. We're fucking up. We're dropping our music. I don't know how this is gonna go well. <sighs> we're the underdogs here. I just want to make you guys know that because yeah. everybody has somebody that's in a band, and I know that you sing a little bit. And uh, I don't do shit, and neither do you, so we need to make this work. <laughs> Since we're not rock stars, we might as well use what we have to our abilities. We should do that. We should just not wear any fucking clothes. Yeah, we draw man. tattoos and shit all over ourselves. I'll wear like a bandana or something, and that's it. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear I'll I'm gonna have... We may get in trouble for that one. Man, I'm so excited, because at this point, we just throw a couple curveballs in, and I got, uh, <laughs> I got something coming for him. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Rock stars are in the building. So we arrived at a knitting factory for our challenge. We gotta rock out to lullabies. I'm not a rock star, but you know what? I'm gonna fucking rock that lullaby. Hey guys, welcome to the world famous knitting factory right here in Hollywood. Oh, oh my god, you're giving me a heart attack right now. I was a little nervous that these guys would be wimps about the situation, but they seem pretty gun ho and they're looking pretty hot. Well, I mean, most of them are, anyways. Looking forward to a little bit of live entertainment tonight. Of course, I am going to be one of the judges. Daisy is going to be one of the judges, but we've also got a very special guest. She not only knows a lot about the music biz, she is also one of Daisy's best friends. Taylor, come on out. Hi, boys. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Calm down, guys. Don't get too excited. Taylor's dad is the guitar player for the Steve Miller Band, and she's been around rock stars her whole life. If you guys don't impress me, I'll make sure to let Daisy know this sexy girl is my best friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, here's the deal. We're going to be judging you by performance, image, and the way you look. I want to hear what you guys have got. It's time to impress. Woo! Just remember one thing. This challenge is about winning a date with me. Yeah! Yes! Woo! Six Gage, your band is up first. Woo! My initial reaction is, fuck. I don't want to go up first and suck. But I know that with our looks, we're definitely going to take this challenge home. We're Chip and Daisy. And our song was Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah! Cute glitter, guys. Yeah, nice one, guys. I feel like I am in a transsexual biker bar with all the makeup and crap these guys are wearing. Wait, where's Big Ray? Oh, my fucking God! If you're gonna rock with Daisy, you gotta put on a show. Balls to the fucking wall, literally. Are you fucking serious? I told you he wasn't wearing underwear. Um, Big Rig has a guitar in front of his Big Rig. Big Rig is leaning back, and his ball sack's hanging out the bottom of his bass. I didn't know if his hands were playing it or his balls were playing it. Six Gage 
rips his pants off and starts shaking his banana hammock like I've never seen anyone shake their banana hammock before. That is the dirtiest rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star I have ever heard. Fuck yeah! That's how you do it! That was a little scandalous. All right, London. All right. Your band is up next. It's all for you, baby doll. OK, Daisy, this song, this was Row, 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 Your Boat. Oh. And we are called, since you like razor blades, we're called the Daisy Blades. Um, what the hell is that about? Like, I need to shave my legs or something? I wax those bitches, thank you. Kind of weird. <laughs> oh! What? Yeah! So obviously, I've always been attracted to musicians and London. I just want to make out with him. I actually really, really like that song, and I would totally jam out to it on the radio. Their version of the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, should have row, row, rowed their ass out of the fucking knitting factory. That didn't work out quite the way I expected. I definitely got a little crazy. I was trying to like hit the cymbal with the guitar and just, you know. Um, that's why I'm allowed to play guitar in my band. All right, Sinister, your band's up next. Uh, we are Daisy Train. Uh, this song is called the E-I-E-I-O song. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Woo! There's no way we can't win this day. I think if Fox just leaves the bass off and makes pretend he's playing it, we'll be fine. One, two, three, four! is looking amazing on guitar. 12-pack can play drums? Wow! And box? Well, he has good hair. We got up there, we rocked the song perfect, and there it was. I got my eye on the prize. All right, guys, after seeing all the bands play, I can honestly say that you were all loud. <laughs> Six Gage. I love, love the fact that you guys took your time to wear makeup and really do something unique, like get naked. While I appreciate what they're trying to do, Chip and Daisy looks like a bunch of kids that got in their mom's makeup kit. Not cute. But that gives me an idea, and these guys clearly need my help. Besides, what's the point of having boy toys if you never get to toy with them? I think the only team that even sounded like they were doing the nursery rhyme was Sinister's team. With the theme, Sinister's band did follow the theme correctly, the most correct. Definitely. Personally, I think they all suck. But considering there's only one band that can actually carry a tune, I think we all know who the winner is. I'm gonna have to go with London scene. Yes! 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 I hate London. I haven't even been on a date yet. You got to be kidding. So I decided to pick Daisy Blaze as the winner because I'm a romantic, passionate feeling person. And then there's London. Dude, he brought a part of himself into that song, and right now, I definitely think London is my rock and roll dream. Mm, thank yes. God, dude, thank you so much. If I knew the challenge was just about jumping around and looking like an idiot, and just going like this and trying to look cool, maybe I would have done that. All right, thank you, thank you. Thanks thank so you, much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Daisy. Oh my gosh. This is my third date. I've won every date. I'm on top of the world right now. This is awesome. My boy Sinister, I feel bad for him, but he should have picked me for his team. You guys that are the winners, Chi Chi, Cage, and London, I want you to grab your stuff 
and we are all gonna go to Gibson's showroom and have a romantic time. Yes, yes. I'm psyched. I'm going on my, my third date now. I'm gonna be a target now. There's gonna be some guys who are a little jealous and everything. So, let's go. <laughs> really kind of pisses me off to know that this other band that dropped their drumsticks and fell on the floor ends up getting treated like royalty. Come on, man. We are so excited. We get to go on a Gibson tour bus and have some fun with Daisy. There's uh, Gibson guitars hanging. I cannot wait to get in there and just get some alone time with her. Cheers. Cheers. London, you're finished already? I know. Well, no. Okay, we don't need to, we don't need to go yeah. in that direction. That's, that's the last thing in the world I want to do. I'm really worried about how much London drinks. <laughs> Beverly Hills-ish. Last time I was here, I woke up in someone's neighborhood in my car with no idea how I got there. Really? That seems to be a recurrent theme with you. You know, most of the ride on the bus, like, I kind of get this, like, weird vibe from her. I'm in a rock and roll, but I hang out with rock and roll musicians. Like, my life is not, like, just, like, you know, sitting so around, you, like... Is that where you, who you live with? I live with, like, right now, like, I'm kind of... Right now, I'm kind of, uh... I hate to say this, but I'm good. I guess I'm kind of homeless. Like, I get... Uh, You're homeless? I'm not homeless homeless. I'm couch surfing at the moment. It, it happened like uh, a few days before I came here. Why? I'm not really homeless. I'm just, you know, I left, I, I moved out. I was, you know, I, I was kind of kicked out of my house before I left. And my father, he basically called called the cops and pretended like I attacked him. And the cops were like, yo, you know, if he wants you out, you got to be out. That definitely sucks. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. And right there, like, I started kind of turning a little sour. They're like, wait a second, like, do you want to hear about me or not? Like, you know, so that kind of bothered me. It, it upset me, you know? But, you know, I bit my tongue because, you know, I'm not that sensitive. I've got thick skin. Like, I don't just, like, you know, get pissed off at any little thing, you know? I think we are getting ready to go rock out of the yeah. car. So let's go yes. rock out of the All right. All right. I personally had the Gibson showroom oh. shut down for wow. you guys. Wow. The Gibson showroom is basically a museum for all these instruments that awesome famous musicians have played. There's crazy pianos, amazing guitars. It's like a dream come true. Because you guys were such amazing rockers, me and Gibson wanted to give you the Epiphone Les Paul Ultra Guitar. So, go I ahead. Get, All yours. Us? For you, to keep. Totally no for you. No way. Yes. Wow. I, I, oh, oh wow. wow. I sold my guitar off to, you know, pay some bills. And uh, I haven't had a guitar since. I've been borrowing a friends here and there. So that was a great gift. I I'm not trying to get super emotional, but like, I seriously, like, I sold my guitar and now I have a guitar again. I'm a little emotional at the moment. So thank you so much. Well, don't cry. I'm not crying. I didn't cry. I don't cry. Don't boys, cry, cry, baby. Bad boys don't cry. A musician without his guitar is basically like a blonde without her bleach. And I am so glad I could fix that. So, I want to play piano. All right. I just kind of improv on it a little bit, like. Well, I'm a fairly talented guy. I'm good at a lot of things I do. Wow. This is a competition, and uh, I hope to have the biggest connection with Daisy than anybody in the house. You smell good. Thanks, sweetheart. You feel so good. I'm just wondering, why do I have to compete against these guys? That's what's confusing me right now. I don't know. I'm to get a little jealous here. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what's going on with you and Sinister? Everything's cool, but I can tell he looks at me different, and it kind of sucks. I know that Sinister and Chi-Chi are bromates, so when I'm with one, I'm pretty sure that it bothers the other. This was his, like, dream to come out here for you. And now he sees me making a connection, and, um... He's pretty sad about that. I don't want to come in between anybody and their friendship. Honestly, he's my best friend, and I wish him the best of luck, but I'm here because of you, you know? I do not want to be responsible for tearing two long-term friends apart, so this could definitely be a problem. A cheers yeah. to you guys. Her cheers. Definitely stepping it up and being my rock stars. I want to get to know you, you, and you. And if you, you, and you fit, or you and you don't fit. I want you to pick me. Like, I want to win you over, all right? But I got two guys here at the moment who I know actually care. Well, you know what I really want to do right now? I haven't spent a lot of time with Cage. Yeah. 
Uh, if you guys don't mind, Cage, please come with me. I'd love to, thank you. I decided I wanted to take Cage for some alone time. This is our first date, so I want to get to know him better. She seems like she's gonna like, just got a problem with me. I don't know where I went wrong, I'll have to figure it out later. Just be positive. Just let that go. I'm real worried. Daisy's just having fun, and um, London definitely blew things out of proportion. Well, I thought we had a lot in common, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You never you never think you have girls figured out, because, well, three dates in now, she's gotten a chance to know me, and if we're having a flat moment, maybe that's because we're just not connecting. If someone doesn't listen to you when you talk about yourself, Yeah. they don't care about you. I want to know more about you. My, my life and my past is so extreme and intense, you know what I mean? If there's anyone that's going to understand, it's me. As far as my dad goes, I was like nine months old, I think, and I was crying, and so he threw me against the wall. My mom left him. As far as my mom goes, she had a drinking problem, and she told me she was gonna go, you know, for a dry ride, and, you know, I thought she was just gonna go pass out in the car, and she just got the car, and she drove off, and she went through the windshield, and the car flipped over on top of her right down the street. And then after that, uh, you know, I lived on the street for a while, in, in and out of trash cans, and uh, I pretty much fought in alleys for money um, for a while. And then uh, somebody discovered me, and I started, you know, fighting professionally, and you know, now I, I, I'm here where I'm at now. He really opened up to me, and I was touched. I just think that he needs love, and I'm willing to give him love and show him that. I'm sorry, you're an amazing person. Okay? It definitely means a lot for me to share something that, that powerful and important about, about me. I just wanted Daisy to see the good in me. Far away, as far as I can go. How was your date, brother? A very, very good date. Nice. Very good. Unfortunately, it's time to head back. Someone's going to not show me like any kind of degree of respect after I've been working hard to like you know show them like a side of me to show them that I'm I'm here for them. If you're not paying attention to me, then like you know fuck this, whatever. Let's freaking rock! Let's go. <laughs> that was the truth. Cheers. Is there something you want to tell me that you... I'm just going to say one thing real quick. You can say whatever you want about it, but honestly, you gave me an attitude the whole time. Everyone in this car picked up on it. You picked me to be your target. You gave me an attitude the whole time before we got there. Real guy Did to you. Did you see that? Doesn't Did matter. you? I just came here because I wanted, like, you know, to see what would happen, you know? And, and, and maybe this is what happens. And, like, maybe I'm not supposed to, you know, a wrong situation for me. I don't even understand where this all even came from. London starts going crazy and yelling at Daisy, getting himself pissed over nothing. But you've been giving me shit and giving me an attitude. That's fine. It's, if you don't like me, send me home. How could you be so selfish and complain about stupid stuff, you know? Pack my you shit up and let me go home. No, seriously. If that's what you want to do, I will go down and pack your shit for you. How about that? That's fine. Okay. He's pissing me off, and I'm pissing him off, and it's just getting worse and worse. I'm so fucking sick and tired of guys fucking deciding they don't want to be here. Well, me home. This limo ride sucks. Me and London are already having our first fight. I'm sitting around the house all bummed out that I didn't get to go on a date. And then when the guys finally come through the door, I hear that London's ready to pack his bags. Daisy's up in the room crying. We gotta get London right out of this place. Fuck that! Sorry, dude, I'm done. Fuck that! London comes in, he's throwing stuff around, he's, he's screaming at, you know, the camera people. Just get the fucking camera out of my face, man. Pushing him out of the way, saying he doesn't want to be around anybody. He's packing his bags. He's going home. I'm thinking, great. Fucking pack my shit up, man. I'm going no, home. dude. We don't need no, to. I'm Let's just lay down. Home, I'm not going to do it for the cameras either, man. I know, man. So blue. Look at me. A fucking puppet. Woo! Look. Look at me go. Hey, 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 smoke hey, Come yeah, outside. Smoke the dude. You know what? I'm ready for this guy to go home. I'm sick of it. You don't want to be here. You want to pack your bags, get all emotional, go home. 
I ain't gonna fucking win by like fucking say this guy's a dick, this guy's a dick. Right. That's not me, man. Fuck that. Now I'm not gonna play the game, dude. London's talking and he's flipping out. I'm like, you can't say that to me. You can't embarrass me now. You're not gonna embarrass me. And I'm like, London, bro, settle down. You're not all that great. My name is Joshua Lee. Do you know that? I'm Joshua Lee. I'm a real fucking person, man. My name is TJ Markowitz. I am a real person. I need to talk to you, London. Come with me. It made me feel a lot better when Daisy came to get me. I wanted to say my piece. If you don't stand for like something, you don't stand for anything, right? I don't want you. Don't you fucking get that? No, I don't. Because tonight, like, like, it wasn't like, you know, you acted like you wanted me there. And when I talk about, like, not having a place to go back to at the end of this, I can afford to get a place when I go back. You know, I'm sacrificing right now for you, you know? I know London's sensitive. I know London's like me. That's why I feel like we connect so much. I don't think that we would be having drama if we both didn't care. I went from like being the guy who passed on the floor, you were ready to cut. He was like, you need to step it up. And I've been on the last three dates. I went from like nothing and being the fuck up to like really like doing everything I could to show you, you know? <laughs> I was like, wow, like I like this girl. Like she's cool. I like, like there's something you, special you, about her. No, no, like for real. It's from mine. Like, like, you know? I don't know what it is about London, but pretty much. All I want to do is make out with him. When I kiss you, I have kissed pretty much all of him in this house. And your kiss is definitely the best. Okay. I don't know how I want to fucking be in this room by myself. I'm crying over you. But, but. I know I need to be hurt. Fucking eyes hurt. <laughs> How's your face feel, man? Fine. Looks like someone ran you over with a truck, dude. I see your mouth moving, but I just can't quite make out the words. So today's a new day. We all wake up. The London thing's blown over a little bit. There she is. Oh, hot damn. Morning. Hello. You all did a freaking fantastic job. All are awesome. I wanted to send some of you with Ricky today. Team Chip and Daisy, you guys are going to channel your inner rock star and get a makeover. The rest of you guys, we will all be hanging out today. I came here for a makeover, that's what I came here for. <laughs> Ricky and Daisy tell us that we're going to go and have a little makeover. I don't know what's going to happen at this one. I will see you guys later. Yesterday at the challenge, Chip and Daisy's tried really hard to give themselves a rock and roll makeover, but it went horribly wrong. So I decided to have Ricky take the boys over to Floyd's 99 to have a real rock and roll makeover. Okay, come on, we're playing Truth or Dare, so let's go. I want to play Truth or Dare because I want to see how everyone's feeling, what they're willing to do, and what they're willing to say. Well, I've never really played Truth or Dare with like six other guys, so I don't know what's going to happen really. Who wants to go first? Chi Chi, Truth or Dare. First of all, truth. Who do you think is going to go first between you and Sinister? Oh, wow, that's spicy. I think Daisy would choose Sinister to stay over me. Why would you say something? Why would you think that? I don't know. I just, I just look up to Sinister. He's like the best musician, and your guys' lifestyles are so alike. And um, I just think that if it was down to me, you and him, that you would pick him over me. What does this mean? Does Chi Chi think Sinister's better for me than him? Okay. I wasn't complimented at all when Chi Chi thinks that I'm gonna be here longer than him. It's kind of a sympathy move, and I'm not sure that I thought it was too cool. So uh, we're pulling up in the limo with Ricky, and a look, and it looks like a garage, and uh, seems like there's some pretty interesting people working there. We arrived at Floyd's 99. I see some of the hairdressers and stuff, and it looks like a lot of punk rock going on. So I sit down, and I have no clue what's about to happen. Hey, cheers to the new uh, girls we're going to look like after this is done. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I dare, I dare you, I dare Cajun 12-pack to arm wrestle. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Whoever wins, I'll kiss them. Okay, Come on, Chase! The you can lock them. One, two, on. three, let's go! Oh. Oh. Get over here! <laughs> I 
see that there's a difference between when Daisy kisses like Flex or Sinister and when she kisses me or 12 Pack. She's not trying to pull away. You know, I can see it. That's why I get jealous when 12 Pack does. Um, okay, London. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. Mm -hmm. Why did your dad kick you out of the house? If she had just listened to me on the bus when I was explaining kind of my situation, she would have known that when I had to ask me. I can't tell you why you kicked me out. I can't. Okay. It will. Well, okay. So, like, where are you living now then? Why do I have to discuss that again? Like, it's a personal issue that is upsetting to me. And bring it up in front of everybody like I did something wrong. So, that right there was just, that was the moment. I was like, obviously, we're not connecting anymore. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, time for me to go. Whatever. Come in. Hey there. You look wonderful again. Before elimination, I always want to spend time with Ricky so he can help me make the best decision, or at least try to help me make the best decision. Last night, I didn't even hear about the date. I didn't hear about any stuff. I started feeling this vibe from London, like we got in a huge screaming fight. You in London? He basically was like, I want to leave. I told him that I don't want him to leave because I have feelings for him. I am so torn up about London. I really, really like this dude. Everything about him screams Daisy. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't want him to stay. You know why, Daisy? Because I see that you're hurt right now, and I see that you already got in the fight. Let me tell you something. When you're in a relationship and you start getting in little fights, it doesn't start like that, and then everything is better. Lennon is the typical loser, struggling rock star guy, can't get in a relationship, is scared of commitment. This is the type of guy that I'm really trying to keep Daisy away from. I see a lot of guys that are bending over backwards to spend any time with you at all. When I'm with him, though, it's like a connection, and it's, like, amazing. Why am I here? Because I... I don't want to see you get hurt. And I see you getting hurt, and I see you leading towards a situation that you're about to get hurt. He passed out the first night. He <laughs> wasn't there for you the first night. The first night, Daisy, he was passed out the entire night. Personally, I thought he should have been gone that first night. But you know what? I stood aside and I said, all right, she really digs him. I really felt the first time ever, I strongly disagree with Ricky. Before elimination, I really have to talk to London one more time. London, I need to talk to you. I had a talk with Ricky, and he is very, very concerned. Ricky can say whatever he wants about me, but, like, I'm not a liar, I'm not a fake person. Ricky's concern was that he sees how much I like you and how we're already fighting or whatever and having all this drama. I'm really torn um, about, you know, wanting to leave and wanting to stay. Like, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I would just end up hurting her. Maybe she ended up hurting me. Like, he's your friend, he's looking out for you. I think you got the house full of people that, for the most part, like, you know, all really, that all care. I want you to find the right guy. All I want to know from London right now is that he wants to be here. Well, I'm going to offer you a chain tonight, and I hope that you take it. Okay. And let him know that I want him here. She said that she wanted to give me a chain, and she asked me to accept it. So, you know, I'm just like, I'm incredibly confused. I don't know what I'm going to do. I didn't win the challenge. That was the music challenge. Daisy's favoring a guy who wants to leave, and I'm starting to have a little problem with Chi-Chi, but... Wow, what an embarrassing makeover. Right when I seen Big Rig's hair, I was like, whoa, that's kind of spicy. You never want to see a guy that big with nipple rings wearing a shirt like that. I was scared for my life. Wow. <laughs> Daisy walks in, and the first thing she notices is my new rock star makeover and how I look like a sideshow clown. <laughs> Holy shit! Yet, she kind of digs it. Flex, Big Rig, and Six Cage, the fact that you guys did that and were good sports about it. So I sent my boys off for a super Barbie dream rock and roll makeover, and they all look super cute. Okay, they all look really silly, but at least they're all good sports about it. <laughs>
Did I miss something funny? I'm digging it. I like it. You know, it's kind of me, you know? This first person that I want to give a chain to has opened up to me so much and showed me that he's really down for me. Ha, I'm getting a first chain, and some people are going home, and that just means I'm closer to my final destination. So I want this first chain to go to Cage. Wow. You are a beautiful person. So would you please stay in this house and be my rock star? Of course. Thank you. Course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I got the first chain. I made a huge connection with her during the date. So I mean, I definitely feel like I do deserve it. Chi Chi. Thank you so much. I'm absolutely starting to feel a little bit of jealousy. I, I don't really know what those two got going on yet, but it's gotta be something, I guess. This next chain is to someone who <laughs> showed me a very different side of himself during the rock and roll challenge, and it was hot. Maybe the naked thing went good for me, but I know I'm getting my chain, baby. 12 pack. Are you fucking serious? Every day that you're here, I begin to trust you more and more. So, would you be my rock star? Mm, put it on me. <laughs> if I don't get a fucking chain, I'm gonna freak out. Flex. Would you like to stay in this house and be my rock star? Of course. Awesome. I'm glad I got a chain. But to come after 12 pack, oh my gosh, what a kick in the ass. Big break. I would love for you to stay in this house and be my rock star. I would love to be your rock star. <laughs> Thank you. I'm extremely nervous. I don't know where I'm standing at with Daisy at this point, and um, I have a feeling I'm going home. What's next, guy? Sorry. <laughs> London. I know that Ricky's got some concerns about me being maybe the same kind of guy that you fell for before. And there's a part of me that says, like, I am that kind of guy. I'm looking at her, and I'm feeling really bad. I don't want to hurt her. And I'm not trying to be an asshole to anybody or hurt anybody. She's asking me to take the, you know, the chain. I just, I, I can't take it. Daisy, I'm sorry. I really just don't know what he's thinking, and I don't know what to do. And to hear him say that he wants to leave really pisses me off. I want you to stay in this house. I'm not going to fake it to you. I can't. <laughs> in the beginning, like, especially, like, it shouldn't be that hard. You shouldn't have to, like, fight as hard. You shouldn't have to fight with each other. I'm just trying to be honest. And, and, and Ricky, I'm not trying to hurt her. Seriously, this is the most respect I have ever had for you, OK? <laughs> when London tells me that he wants to leave, it makes me feel that he's leaving because I'm not good enough. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to let I do I don't know. You guys, yeah, I wish you all the best, man. <laughs> so what? I'm happy to see London go home. I'm still here. You know, nothing's ever 100%, but I said right now I'm like 95% sure that I'm making the right decision. But maybe one day it'll be a different story, and uh, you know, I'll be able to, to write you that song. I, I promise you you're going to get over this. I promise you that you're going to say this is the right thing. Trust me on this one, OK? Continuing on with the rest of these guys right now, it just terrifies me. I don't really know if I can handle it. <laughs> Daisy runs off, and we're just kind of standing there waiting to see what happens next, because I haven't got my chain, and there's a couple other guys that haven't either. Give me this fuck shit. Fuck you, bitch. Get fuck off you. my garage, bro. Bro. I'm a fucking. I'm an ankle. I'm an ankle like the shit on your ankle. Tap out, motherfucker. I'll take Tap out. One, Tap out. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 Fox is tapped out too. Fuck it. Hey, I'm kicking you out of the house. I'm kicking you out of the house. Minute bull hands, bro.